Welcome back to the Wood Rage Shop Report. Uh, today is November 4th, 2015, and I thought I'd show you uh, a few things I've got going on. Uh, my uh, end table, or my coffee table project is a bit on hold. I'm waiting for a tool to come in uh, so I can, uh, it's actually a, a rabbit jig so that I can recess the glass flush into the top of the uh, coffee table. Um, and it's kind of a critical step, so I'm waiting on that. But I got a few other things done on the shop today, or this week. Um, let me introduce you to a good friend. Uh, this is a leg vise. Uh, I, it's not something that's very common, and it's not something that a lot of people know about, but uh, I wanted to show you basically what it is. Um, I have a few other things I want to do to it, but it's basically done, it's working, and I've used it several times already. Um, basically, you have a, uh, a screw that runs through the leg, um, and have a nut on the back that's then secured to the leg. Um, and then I have this panel running underneath, and in it there are 52 holes um, every quarter inch along it, so that I can put something through a hole at whatever, uh, whatever measurement I want, and then I can run the vise down to that hole and pinch the same thickness up here at the top. Um, and that will keep the vise parallel um, to the leg. It's a ingenious little device. I mean, originally they were a board running through here and you'd jam a wedge into this side and that wedge would pull it tight. Uh, but basically they took the wedge and they wrapped it around a, uh, a rod and they made an inclined screw. Uh, otherwise known as a uh, uh, screw, or an inclined plane around a screw. Um, really simple device, but works fantastically well. The, a couple benefits with it is, number one, the screw is a long ways down from the top, so I can put in a large chunk of uh, wood here. Um, I can pull it all the way up to 12 inches away from the, the table. And it also clamps things flush to the edge of the table. Um, so with that, I can, the, the legs are flush, the leg over there is flush, the top is flush. I can clamp boards to the table here, so I can, I can clamp a piece here, and if I have something long to do, I can pull clamp across there. Um, and clamp it on the other side of the table. And I know that this plane is flat, um, and it's flat with the legs, and I know that anything that I do on it can be true. This is 90 degrees to this. Um, and, and the leg all the way down is 90 degrees to this, dead on. I'm being very, very specific about that, particular on this leg. Um, I'm not going to be finishing this because I'm not sure if I really like this leg yet. Uh, this is kind of my own invention. It's made of three 2x4s. Um, I kind of like it, but I'm not 100% sure if I like it. If I like it, great, I'm going to clean it up and finish it. Um, if not, I'm going to make something better and finish that. That's what I have that there for. A um, couple other things. I'm working on my winding sticks. Uh, I started these a while ago, and I didn't have a bench to work on them, and so I kind of put them aside. And basically, they are pine. Um, they have a, uh, uh, a 3 8 dowel. Um, I handmade the dowel that goes through there. Um, goes all the way through uh, in light. That is purple heart. And then I have um, maple um, keystone tops on either side of this one. The other one, uh, I put on mahogany uh, tops on this one. Those are rectangular, so I can kind of tell them apart. It's not just my maple from mahogany. Um, winding sticks, if you don't know what they are, are basically so that you can look down a board and know if the board is twist in it. Uh, if you put one at either end, the, the length of them will exaggerate the twist in the board and so you know what side to plane off and how to bring the board back into true. Uh, a couple other things that I finished up. Uh, these two marking gauges I started a while ago. Um, they're purple heart and maple. Um, and I, I just like them. They're a lot of fun. Uh, I was going to make them simple marking gauges by putting a masonry nail through um, a hardened steel nail and sharpening the tip. And basically that scratches a line wherever you go. But it's not a really definitive line because it's a scratch and so it's kind of messy and blurry and so when you really get down to it and you're working on the 64th of an inch or the 100th of an inch, um, uh, marking gauge is a, is a poor way of doing it. So basically what I did is I screwed on a, a tiny utility blade onto the very end so that rather than making a scratch in the plate, this will make a cut in the plate, uh, which is a very definitive line. Everything on one side of the cut you keep, everything on the other side of the cut disappears. Um, it's, it is a fantastic, uh, fantastic tool. These are, are huge, huge marking gauges, but they are very, very solid. 
uh, so that if I want to do a board that is you know, 10 inches long, I can mark them, I can make a mark out 10 inches long with this and just slide it along the board to make the mark. Um, so that's kind of what I have going on. Uh, I, a few other things. Oh, I don't think I showed you this. Ah, let me bring these over. Um, a new friend that I met who has an Alaskan sawmill. Um, and we're going to be uh, cutting up some boards here soon. Um, he brought over these two planes and he said, you know, if you rebuild them and uh, give me back this one, I can keep this number seven. This is a Stanley number seven. It was made in 18, uh, between 1888 and 18, uh, 1892. Um, so, you know, it's, it's old, but man, is this thing solid. And it gives you a, a beautiful, beautiful work. If the blade sticks out a hundredth of an inch, it's 22 inches long. So, you know, you won't have a deviation greater than a hundredth of an inch over 22 inches or a 50, 50th of an inch over about four foot, um, which that's pretty darn accurate. Uh, I can even take the blade down to a thousandth or so and just skim it. And it, it takes forever to bring something true, but you know when it's down, it, it's true. Uh, and then this, this is a Dunlop from the 1940s. Um, and so this is the one I'm, I'm rebuilding for him. And I did this one all black, uh, gave it the original gloss and, uh, Boy, that's a nice little blame. That that will that does some fun things. I, I like that one. Um, so that's about where I'm at. Uh, everything else is running along pretty smoothly. Hopefully, I'm going to get the uh, the couple tools I need soon to get back onto that coffee table, and uh, we'll be rocking and rolling again. Oh, one other thing. My grandfather, uh, Walson, gave me this. Um, you may say, "Hey, that looks kind of familiar," because right? it's it's basically this down here. It's a slightly smaller screw, um, but uh, very, very similar. And this one is an older version. I have no idea how old it is, but I'm going to be making a whole other leg once I figure out exactly what I want with this. I'm going to make a whole other leg vise down on that one so that I can put long planks all the way across this and uh, secure them at both legs. So that's, uh, that's what's going on. I'm really looking forward to getting this, this in place. It is a, uh, a, a cool little... Uh, uh, a little screw. So there you go. Hope you like this. Have a good day. See you next time.